What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So I got all of the extra combat stuff with Chadley done. But we are ready to continue on with the main quest, finally. I uh, did a fair amount of playing as Tifa going through them, actually. I didn't realize her her synergy uh, her synergy skills are, like, insane. Because Tifa's big thing is, you know, she struggles to get aerials. And her, her uh, synergy stuff, it just launches you into the air. It's wild. Hey, you guys! We talked to Yuffie. She said that you could show us a way to get up top. Sure, I'd be happy to. Although, Yuffie's the one who found it. And according to her, that tanker's the quickest and easiest way into the city. See that? That booth up there is the control room. So we can repurpose this ship as an elevator. Someone lowers and sends it back up, along with the others. Problem is, how are we supposed to get to the controls? High voltage? Yep, it should just say no climbing. So we're stuck? Not with Mr. Dolphin. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Like, like when we met. See, I was out taking a swim all on my lonesome. At least I thought I was alone, but then Squeak, squeak! I hear this funny noise. That's great and all, but we're in a hurry. Hey! We're sorry, really. But we'll make sure to come back as soon as we're done. You can finish your story then. How does that sound? Okay, promise! <laughs> hmm? Never done it before? My arm, your arm, bam! Oh, gotcha! <laughs> awesome. All right then. Now what? Now we ask Mr. Dolphin to get you up. With his help, it'll be a cinch. Okay. Which one of you wants to go flying? Got you written all over it, Merc. <sighs> Guess it's me. Great. Just let me know when you're ready to go. It's gonna be like a mini game. I'm getting mini game vibes. Uh, yeah, we're done. We've we've done all everything we can in under Junon. I do feel a little bad. I can't. I can't. Can I? I can't pause it right now. I can do that, but I can't pause it. Uh, no, maybe I can't. I'm still jumping in the water. Nope. Anyway, uh, what I was gonna show is red is just like. I feel bad for him because I really like his playstyle. He's super fun. And he's basically just turned into the materia mule. He's he's just holding holding his materia and that's it. With the beach balls he loves so much to get him excited and speed up. If you're swimming fast enough by the time you reach the goal, he'll be able to launch cloud. Okay. But he, he has like spirit up, luck up, magic up, health up. But he's just he's just leveling them for me. But I do want to make make a uh, like Aerith I need in the party because you know magic. But I do think I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna start changing up who I play each episode. So we'll we're gonna start off fresh. I'll play Cloud, and then I'll do like an Aerith episode and then a Tifa episode. And, One of the things I did was uh, I was practicing my uh, my perfect blocks with Cloud. It's actually pretty insane when you get the timing down. Oh shit. Alright, I need to redo this I was I'm dumb I was holding right trigger the whole time and then I was like I'm kind of slow yeah that'll do it only hold it when you turn yeah this is very different from the first run Maybe 
else has to avoid those? Oh god. One thing I've never understood about Cloud is so Cloud used to just be not a, he wasn't a soldier, he was just a regular Shinra officer. And I know he got like pretty loaded with Mako during the events of Nivel. But like at some point he just became like, like his sheer, his agility is insane. And is that just a side effect of like the amount of Mako that got pumped into him? Because like, dude, the way, like, I mean, perfect example, this, the, the dolphin stuff, which, like, I know, like, well, that's a plot thing, but, like, even in the fights, like, he is so agile, it is insane. He's agile enough to keep up with Sephiroth. But I guess it has to be the Mako. Okay, your ride's right here. The ship's not far, so you'll be there in no time. Let me see, I actually just found a thread about it. Think on the way. explanation I found is Cloud is the embodiment of I think I am therefore I must be. Cloud was never a slouch before enhancement but he also has a confidence <laughs> hey, issue that brought him down. This is the main reason he ever made him a soldier. At the beginning of the claim game he has no such issue and firmly believes he was a first class soldier and because he thinks it is he acts like it performing feats that he never actually done before but he's doing them because he now has the confidence to pull it off. You know what I'll just I'll take it. Uh, one person said Genova cells. He was experimenting on with Genova cells. Um, I learned it many times. Do, 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 do. Meet you at the top. Somebody says no, it's not it. It's not a Zach, but not the same. J cells are from Genova. S cells from Sephiroth. Zach's body rejects the S cells, so they really can't transfer through cells. I got all of Zach's abilities. It's a cloud. Hang on, this is a little old. Cloud received cells from Sephiroth, apparently. I think I found the the actual lore reason, which I'll get to in a second here. So I don't, I mean, it's been a while since we played Crisis Core, so I think I might just be forgetting this cutscene, but 
Uh, so S cells are a specific type of Genova cell that Hojo tampered with and used in the Sephiroth clone project. The only two named characters uh, who received these cells are Zack and Cloud. Zack didn't seem to accept them very well, likely because he had already been through soldier treatment and was rejecting them as a result. So when the Genesis copy ate them, it sped up its deterioration because those weren't pure S cells. Cloud, on the other hand, didn't reject the cells, probably because he didn't go through the soldier treatment. So Genesis went after him under the assumption that pure S cells wouldn't have the same negative effects. So that was it. Hojo basically injected Sephiroth cells into Zack and Cloud, and that's why Cloud's such a badass. Okay. It's important to have the lore like this, you know? It's, it's good to know. Because I remember all, like, the clones and the deterioration, but I think the... I think the whole Hojo using Sephiroth cells, that one... I don't know. It's been a while since Crisis Core, so I probably just forgot about it. Before I meet up with them, is like a chest or anything? Nope. Ah, there you are. Let's move. Okay, time to win that commendation. These guys really aren't doing their job well if they're just just walking right through. Wow. I guess they just figure anyone that's up in this city must be Shinra. Less security than I thought. More worried about the parade? <laughs> guess things have changed. They got higher priorities. Personally, I think that's a good thing. The city's size, on the other hand. The robed men won't be easy to find. And they're definitely not here. Let's head into town. We can... Gotta find the final person to play cards with. Any idea what that is? The highway. Generous pride and joy. The fastest, most advanced airship in the fleet. Screw the boat. Let's take that. Mm. Unless you got a trained crew and piloting skills we don't know about, we're sticking with the boat. That's too bad. Would have been perfect. Well, until the hey, beggars can't be choosers. That's the ticket. Do we have to go to that social for the Midgar unit? Word of advice. Do not piss off directors. It's kind of weird how I'm just straight walking around here. Interesting looking fighter. Them be for now. <laughs> Enter. An emissary from Wutai is here, sent by Viceroy Saruth. Oh, he introduced himself as Colonel Glenn Ladbrock. I thought you were dead. <laughs> then you thought right.
Let's cut to the chase, Mr. President. The Viceroy and your late father had big plans. I assume you intend to carry them out? Correct. That's good to hear. Some people just don't have the stomach for war. And this battle for the Magnus Materia demands commitment from both Wutai and Shinra. Thank you. I'm aware. Magnus My Materia? Is dead, which changes the equation. A new vision is required. <laughs> you always did prefer to march to the beat of your own drum. This new vision include your fairy tale promised land? <laughs> you Shinras, you take and you take, and you never give back. Left to you, this world would end up an empty husk. But war can put things right, beget anger, Desolation, hatred, and in its wake, new unity. A people rejuvenated, and a planet once more made whole. What we're doing's for the greater good. Just gotta know when to ease off the gas. Now listen. You started this, remember? No more playing the idle air. You have obligations to fulfill. <laughs> Let's give the people what they deserve. Oh, right. Before I leave, a message from the Viceroy. Congratulations on your inauguration, Mr. President. Shinra has a bright future. no idea what that was about. I don't remember that at all. Avalanche could be here right now. <laughs> yeah, man. Remember that you represent Juna. Who knows? They could our sworn duty to keep be right in front of us and we wouldn't even be aware of it. District. If there's someone to play cards with, this is where I'm going to find them. I will say, going around here and, and seeing all the Shimmer people and none of them recognizing that, you know, Avalanche is right here. Those troopers seemed pretty it is for pretty parade, funny. Huh? More like eager to prance around for their new paymaster. <laughs> I know what y'all gonna say, but I gotta ask. 
what? If Rufus is in town, are we really gonna let this opportunity pass us by? Hmm. Hell, I'm not saying we kill the man, but we ought to at least give him a talking to. Rough him up a little, maybe, you know? Actually, I'm gonna have to agree. First, the Turks say, do whatever, we're not after you. But then, Cloud's biker buddy rolls up and says he is. We gotta straighten this out. Okay, but how? We can't just walk up to the president in the street. Hmm. Or maybe we can. Huh? We bust up his parade! No. That's how we die in a hail of bullets like a bunch of dumbasses. The city's crawling with Shinra troopers. We join the parade. Hide in plain sight. Get in, get close, get answers. Seriously? Sure. Wow, that's good. No arguments here. <laughs> Barrett, Brett, you guys find a route to the port. See what security's like. And keep an eye out for black robes while you're at it. Now hold up! Fatigues won't be enough to disguise you. Yeah, I'll say Barrett, huge, bro. <sighs> True enough. Shut up. All right, see you in a bit. I gotta go find a uniform. Oh, we're coming with. I'm so pumped for this. This way? Yeah. It does seem like the game is really pushing this as like, you know, a Attention party. all troopers. Spare uniforms can be found here. Please get changed. Out of the civvies. Now we're talking. Huh. They're actually kind of cool. Well, ready to suit up? Yep. <laughs> Whoa there. Three steps back, if you please. seeing the three of you at practice am i to assume that you simply forgot sorry sir <gasps> sorry sir you're sorry do you have any idea how important today's ceremony is do you maggot form check now you will give your commander a flawless performance i had a feeling this was coming and if you show her anything less than perfection, I'll feed your ass to a behemoth! Now what? Just follow my lead. I still remember the basics. I'm having second thoughts, you guys. What the hell are you doing over there? The commander is waiting! Sir! A 
attention! Have to hand it to you three. You've got guts skipping out on practice. That, or you're idiots. Let's find out, shall we? I'm not about to take any chances today. I'm warning you now, though. One slip up and I'll chuck you straight into a Marlboro's mouth. Clear? Okay. <clears throat> Red, tap the button. Yellow, repeatedly tap the button. Teal, hold the button. Okay. Okay, so there's a, there is an icon that shows. Alright, so when it's yellow, tap, 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 tap. Red is one quick tap. Boom. And then teal, is there an icon that shows to hold, so I don't forget that? Okay, I can I can manage this. I can manage this. Let's see what you've got. Now begin. Put the button on the rhythm lines. Okay, give me a little practice. That's nice. We got it. We'll be fine. Precise, clean movements. Impeccable timing. I must say, front of the parade. You are hereby promoted to Parade Captain of Midgar's 7th Infantry. You will be our model trooper, the one to march at the head of our drill team. Which means that our performance, satisfactory or otherwise, is now your responsibility. Ma'am. Lines on it now. I'm special. As parade captain, you will round up your fellow troopers currently on leave in Larboard Junon. You will recall that to march in the parade, each drill team is required to muster five units or more. Look for the seven Sprasars. They'll identify the best from the rest. Once assembled, you and the team will report to Starboard Junon. Tardiness will not be tolerated. Now, make us proud. Ma'am! Ma Falls to you to locate the disparate units and assemble your drill team. You find at least five. You can tune up your performance lineup with L2. Note that certain units unlock different formations. Successfully performing more difficult formations will improve your rating. Oh man, this is a whole, this is a whole thing. I figured there was going to be like a, a mini game like the rhythm, but this is, uh, this is way past that. Boy, that was lucky. Hey, you sure about this? Is the parade really going to get us to Rufus? The parade won't, but the presidential commendation will. That's how these things go. The president himself gives the award. Wow. That's some plan. I mean, it's risky, but... Gotta go big or go home, right?
That's where I just came from. Yes. Nope. Wrong way. All right. Well, either way, we got to go hunt down the 7th Infantry. Let's wrap things up here now that we are in our soldier attire. And I'll catch you all next time when we continue.